So today I'm gonna attempt to build a loading ramp for my trailer. Uh, I bought this trailer here a little while ago. Uh, it's a nice shape. Painted the rims and painted the, the wood. It's uh, 4 feet by um, 13 feet long, but it doesn't have a gate. So I'm gonna attempt to build a gate today out of an uh, inch and a half by inch and a half, a uh, quarter, no, three sixteenths thick walled square tubing. So we'll see how it goes. So the material I'm gonna use is this four by four foot grate. It's fairly thick, so if I grab it, and even if I push it with my leg, it uh, bends a little bit, but not, uh, not very much. And then I'm gonna use some square tubing that I bought at Tri Province here in Monkston. And uh, there they are. Should only use four pieces. Should be a fairly straightforward uh, job. We'll see how it goes. So the inside width is uh, just a little bit over four feet. And the outside is 51 and a half inches and nine inches tall. So I'll just make it. Uh, Exactly four feet by four feet. Yeah, so I uh, was cutting this uh, square tubing and uh, was holding on to the piece that was uh, sticking out over here and I accidentally touched down here in my, my workbench and I got zapped. So I'm like, what the heck, what the heck, what the heck, what the heck? So I hauled out my uh, multimeter and check this out. So I'm going to turn on, here with my foot, I'm going to turn on the switch. And up she goes to 154 volts. Like, what the heck? We're going to turn it back off. It goes back to almost nothing. So I think we got a problem. So the bars are cut up, and I just uh, lined them up here. And checked with a square, that they're square, and now I'm going to weld.
Okay, so here's what I have so far. A welded all the little connections all the way around and in between. And this is a heavy duty uh, mesh. So if I push down here, even if I jump on it, it barely moves. So I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I'm going to do the hinges next and then paint it. And that should conclude this project. There we go. The beast is all done. So now all I got to do is paint it and uh, put a couple of screws in that, that angle iron right here and I will have a brand new gate. Oh, I uh, do have to find some, make some sort of a latch to latch the gate up, but uh, this worked out really well. So here, I'll take the pin out. Yeah. And now I can just slide this out and disconnect the gate. I think that's going to come in quite handy. So here's the finished gate, just freshly painted, and it looks quite spectacular if I may say so myself. I would say that this was one of the funnest projects I've done in a while, and uh, it turned out really nice, so I'm very happy with it. And uh, tomorrow, once it's dry, I can mount it on the trailer, and then it should be good and ready for some more projects.
So here's the install gate. I think that looks just fine. Alright, so the gate is finally done. Just last a little bit, took a little time. But uh, it was pretty simple. Worked out once I figured out how to do it or how I wanted to do it. It's pretty simple. Just a little pin over here to uh, take out. And then I can actually flip that bar over, rest it down. And here's the other side. So I think that's going to work. I hope you enjoyed this. And maybe you'll get to try it yourself. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.